Rivers, when they come together tomorrow, most of the people talking, taking sides will not be there, Lake Konjo. Now to the news info. A leading social affairs analyst has called for restraint in the ongoing political tensions between Governor Simon Alaye Fubara and former Governor Yusun Wiki of River State, suggesting that reconciliation remains possible despite current disagreements. Yes, so they can wake up tomorrow and decide to reconcile. And you that you have been fighting on their behalf, you have wasted your time and your energy fighting for them. Some people would even kill themselves on top of this matter. But at the end of the day, they will, they will definitely reconcile. In a recent Symphony TV broadcast, Jackson Lake Country emphasized the paramount importance of peace in resolving political conflicts. The overall interest of everybody is peace. These two people and can still come together, he stated, drawing parallels with historical reconciliation between different groups. The analysts specifically warned against taking partisan positions in the ongoing dispute. When there was a dispute between elders and young ones, they still reconciled. I want everyone to be careful about how they act and take sides because these two people, when they come together tomorrow, most of the people who are taking sides today will not be there. Ojo cautioned. Very true. When they reconcile, they will not let you know because you, you won't be there again. You won't be there. It's just like a case of husband and wife. You don't put mountain in their matter. Because when they settle, they will still use you as topic after they settle. So, so it's important that people don't take sides during this kind of, of fight between two politicians. It's the truth. His remarks highlights the potential for resolution in the river state political crisis while warning that the current partisan positions could prove disadvantages once the leader reconciled. The analyst's perspective offers a measured approach to the situation, emphasizing the need for unity and careful concentration in political discourse. This call for restraint comes as river states continue to navigate through a period of political uncertainty with various stakeholders closely watching developments between the current and former governors. It's just the truth. Anybody that knows what they are doing should not just put mouth in their matter because they can reconcile politics. There is no permanent enemy. Today, they can be enemies today. Tomorrow, they are friends. That is just how politics is in Nigeria. So people should stop killing themselves because of politicians. Stop putting your mouth in their matter. They will settle. You can take sides, but don't let it be too deep. Don't let it go deeper. That you'll not be saying, oh, I'm going to fight this person. I'm going to fight this one because of politicians. You're wasting your time. Because tomorrow they might decide to reconcile. Krishna Tirisi says, absolutely. They that have here to hear, let them hear. A word is enough for the wise. That is the truth. Moses just has said, but we can went extra mile for the man for Bara. Yes, he went extra mile. Let God pay him back. Since he's not getting his, his, his return for helping him, let him let go. Must he fight? Must he be violent about it? He should let go and let God. Allah Lufemi says, if Fubara should try that, by then I will come out and call him the head of the bastard. So you don't want them to say to Why? So you like the war that is brewing be between them. They might just come to a, a conclusion like a normal ground that there won't be issues between the both of them again. I'm sure they will say so. Some day very soon they will say so. According to says, my brother, you are very correct. Caution should be taken because no enemy in politics. The two of them may decide to be in one formidable party tomorrow. You can never, never predict these politicians and what they are up to. It's the truth. It is the truth. Intazo says, no, VK is wrong. What is wrong is wrong. Which tomorrow has VK that he is already on his way home. While Arola says, but for now, tell your friend to leave the man. Test leadership for once. He, VK, is no God. That is what we are saying. We know in, in politics there is no permanent friend and there is no permanent enemy. Yes, but at least VK should leave this man alone to do his governorship. Nobody disturbed you when you were the governor of the state. Let this man do his job. You helped him and we have heard you. He betrayed you and we have heard you. But should take laws into your hands. Leave him. Let him be. Very soon he will reap whatever it is that he saw him. He too, he might have a political child tomorrow and the person will do the same thing that he's doing to you, to, to, to him as well. Then you will clap and say, yes, 
what you did to me, somebody else is doing to you, you don't have to resort to violence. You don't have to say, oh, you won't release funds to him because of that. You want to punish him. You want to frustrate him. Just leave him alone. Let him be. Victor Guru says, there is no room for reconciliation with a thief and a wicked. River state crisis will, be, will mark the end of political robbery in this era. Wicked time is up. Okay. Lamin Fortress says, this nonsense of wicked can only happen in Nigeria. Ejima Okechiko says, I dreamt last night and Tinobu told me in clear terms that he was the one causing all the problems in River State. Okay now, Joseph the Dreamer, we have heard you. But really, it might be because this thing Tinobu is not calling for um, wicked order. You are not calling him. Your, your minister is causing trouble in River State. Meanwhile, he's an SCT minister. Which one does he want to do? He should pick a side now. No, he doesn't want to. And yet, you are not calling him to order. That means that you have interest in the case. That means you know about the issues, the frustration is giving for Barra down there in River State. That is why you have not been able to call him to order. Anir Kalosin says, if God was man, I don't know you will be here talking jargon. Can you tell how many times you have offended God without asking for forgiveness? So many reasons that make God regretted after creating man. Christy Wiesel says, call a spade a spade. Ask Wiki what he is still looking for in River State after eight years of governance. Not just that, after having been compensated for openly rigging election for Tinobu, that is the kind of country that we have found ourselves though. That is the kind of country that we have found ourselves. Somebody rigged the election for you, you made him minister. We are seeing the rigging going on live and then we the citizens, citizens can't do anything about it. You were there for eight years, nobody disturbed you. Your structure was there. Now somebody else is there, let him also create his own structure. You say no. You want him to give you 40% of his of revenue. You want him to do everything that you say. That's not possible. When he's not a robot, he's a robot that would would do everything that you, that you do. And sometimes robots go on, they will, they will protest. They will say, okay, they, they malfunction sometimes. And they will start disobeying you. So, this man is not a robot. It's not something that you can remove up and down and say, oh, yeah, do this, do that. And, and he obeys you. No, no. Leave him alone. You, this your market, you don't show a shot, so you you let it go and come back maybe next um, election. You pick somebody else that will listen to you. And if, if the person wins, good luck to you. Victor Azabaku says, Now joke, now they joke now because I never see anything for this country. That is why. Donald Iam says, Come together to continue to plunder River State. Abba, Mr. Joe, let Mr. Wicked go and rest. He has enriched himself more than enough when he was the governor of the River State. Abi now, he has, so he should leave this person to do his job. Abi, but really, they can settle at any point in time. There is no permanent enemy in politics. That is just the truth. My listeners, over to you. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to like, to share, and subscribe. Thank you for listening. See you some other time. Bye.